What's this for? Um, my name's Ryan Glover. I uh, write for Ryan Glover Media. I'm also a member of SAG after. Like, you know, I definitely support you guys. So, like, you know, uh, what, what is the, the main reason you guys are out here? Because, like, you know, I've read, like, you know, a lot about the, the issues that are going on, like, you know, as far as, like, with streaming, where the people who mind the goal aren't necessarily getting the rewards for uh, their work, you know? Is, is that is that true? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely part of it. Um, they're not being transparent about the residuals so that they don't pay what they owe us for airing our work. Uh, they also sometimes delete shows before they are trigger um, uh, residual payments, which is uh, really frustrating. Um, but in general, we're fighting for things like an increase in sal weekly salaries because uh, our pay is down about 14%, adjusting for inflation over uh, the past 10 years. Uh, we're looking to end what they call mini rooms, which are, are rooms that uh, we generate a great deal of work, don't get paid for the uh, material that is developed. We only get a minimum salary for that time, and we lay out the entire series, sometimes right half the season uh, or the whole season. Uh, it's, uh, we're tired of doing work for free, and uh, we're tired for being on shows where they hold us for long contracts, don't allow us to... Uh, they don't tell us that the season is uh, I, series is either picked up or not for months, sometimes 18 months. You're held in first position, so you're not allowed to go find another job. It's incredibly frustrating and incredibly impossible to uh, make a living wage. So what we're trying to do is fight for, especially for younger writers and lower level writers who are getting into the system and for screenwriters who don't get paid a weekly salary. They only get paid a, a, a lump sum uh, when certain levels are triggered. So there's a lot of issues that we're trying to uh, change just to make things um, humane for our members. Right, it, it seems very um, reasonable. Yes. Like, you know, a lot of your requests, like, you know, why, why do you feel there's so much pushback? Because corporations are all about busting unions. All you have to do is look at what Amazon is doing or Apple is doing. Uh, they're sitting on more money than most countries have ever had, it, and they still crush unions. They won't pay a livable wage to uh, factory workers. They won't pay a living wage to drivers. It's unconscionable, and that's just their game plan. And what this is not about uh, saving money. This is about breaking unions. They've already lost more money in the month in the first month of our strike than they would have had to pay out over three years. So wow. If it was about uh, if it was about um, money, they would have uh, they would have made the deal, which is why I thought they were going to make the deal because I thought they were business people, but they're not. They're union busters. Definitely. Uh, do you have any thoughts about AI? Yeah, I mean, I think it's garbage. I mean, basically, what it does it's not artificial intelligence; it's an artificial parrot. All it does is it spits out pre-existing material in different um, form. So. Uh, they're using our work in order to generate material. It's the same way, same thing that they can do with music. It's the same thing they can do with images. That's why it's not fun for me to go on. I have a lot of friends who are comic book writers. It's not fun for me to go on set or on, online and see uh, images that are generated in the style of my friends. That means that the decades of work that they um, spent and to create a style is now being aped by artificial parody. And uh, that's taking money away from them and livelihood away from them. So I, I think all that, I think Silicon Valley has a, has a um, history of coming into every um, industry and ruining it and turning it into gig workers. Taxis, uh, you know, the food services, publishing, uh, even, even things like rental market that Zillow and Redfin uh, have destroyed. We, we have to stop them. We have to hold them off the beachhead. That's what we're trying to do right now. And we're trying to just, we're not, we're just literally just trying to make the industry sustainable. That's it. And um, do you feel like, you know, that you guys are like, you know, making like a difference by being out here today? They, they, like, of course. You know, yeah, do you think like, you know, that it will be changed? Because like, you know, a lot of people in Hollywood are freaked out. You we, know, as far as like, <laughs> we've never lost one of these. It's just a, it's just a question of time. We're fighting for survival, so we have nothing to lose. So we'll be out here as long as we need to be. If SAG stands with us, I think this will be a lot, lot shorter. 
Uh, I wish DGA stood with us, but they got a deal that they felt comfortable with, so that's the bed that they decided to lie in. But I hope SAG realizes that this is an important time and a unique period in time, and if we don't stand together now, this is probably our last chance. Thank you so much.